Hey guys, welcome back to the Knights of the Old Republic playthrough. Uh, last week we made our way through the Paragus Mines, and we came to this room. Um, we talked to this HK unit, and there's this dead maintenance officer. So let's search his corpse. Uh, he's got credits and a med pack. So what we need to do, if we check our uh, notes and stuff, voice print protocol, this is where we're at. The only exit from this level is through an airlock sealed with a voice print protocol. The HK unit known knows the code, but... The owner of the voice, the maintenance officer, is dead. You need some way of recording his voice and then playing it back to unlock the voice print on the airlock terminal. Maybe Atten knows a way. Alright. Um, so I guess I'll just look around for something. I think I remember what you do, but I'm not exactly sure. So I'm going to look around. And I guess if I find something interesting, we will. We'll, I'll, I'll see you back. Data pad, sonic imprint sensor, sonic imprint sensor. All right, with the protocol droids help, I've finished work on the sonic imprint sensor. I've installed them in the mining droids, but I'm locking up the original here to prevent the other miners from using its ability to record and playback voices to override the droids voice print, voice print port protocol. All right, so we got a new journal entry. With the sonic imp imprint sensor, you might be able to record pieces of the maintenance officer's, officer's voice from hollow logs and use them to open the airlock door. Okay. So let's see, is there... Is this the door? Oh no, I can't get through this. Um, okay. I'm gonna just shock that door. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just keep killing these droids. Alright. So uh, those guys are dead. We have a level up. Um, I'm not gonna save it, I'm just gonna use it. Let's see, attributes, uh, strength would not be bad. Um, I kind of want to do charisma, though, get that up a little bit. Even though we have that persuade, I do want to do kind of a uh, wisdom type thing. I'm going to actually put one in demolition and one in persuade. That way we can pick up stuff if we need to. It looks like, it seems like from last week, demolition will be kind of more important than it was. Um, Shoot. Let's go. This power enables the character to use their own health to feel force powers. All force powers take 50% of the cost. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Why can't... I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to read through some of these and then move aside. Um, I'm going to do this... Tr I'm going to try this mind trick. Um, mind trick distracts a non-droid target, making it easier to sneak by them. If the target fails... A will save of DC5 plus uh, attacking. Basically, it means we can sneak by people. Um, I'm going to do it just because I don't see any other any other options right now. Um, so, yeah. Let's do that. And uh, is there anything else? Okay. Except. All right. Let's just keep exploring. I am a little under the weather. Not that it matters. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. Those don't seem like the oh, wow. Okay, that was pretty easy. Oh my god, they are hitting really hard. Just don't die here. So cool. Um, let's try and get in here. Failed. Um, I guess I could bash it open. Should I just use a mine? Right, we'll just use a mine. Oh, my skill's too low. I can't even do that. Can I bash this door open at least? Oh, there's an, there's a there's a droid on the other side. Okay, I guess we can't get in there. Um, can I? I want to shock that guy. Yeah, it's a little bit harder than this other mining droid. Do need to heal up a little bit. Be careful, it's gonna blow up, man. Okay, so we need to get a voice print. Can I? Can I actually go up there? All right, I'm gonna finish exploring this because there's that terminal where he's at. Um. I guess we'll look at this maintenance station after we get in here. 
There we go. Got into that at least. Oh, we got a, a uh, I don't know if we can use this, an implant. Um, this implant boosts the regular energy impulses of the nervous system, sharpening the performance of dexterous actions and active users may suffer the, oh, okay. We're going to go with that. We don't have any gloves. I do want some gloves, but um, for now, actually, I forgot we have that. Um, can we use this to get in here? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, I need to switch weapons though. Yeah, because I knew this guy was going to be here. Let's do one more. Um, looks like there's nothing in there here, just that guy. Alright. Um, yeah, let's just keep going this way, I guess. Holy crap. No, 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 don't bash that. Um, okay, I'm gonna actually let my force points get up a little bit, and then we're gonna shock those droids. Alright, our force points are back. Let's try and shock. I don't think, yeah, I don't think they're gonna come at me, so, um, I guess I'll just wait for the last one before I go. Um, can we go up the cargo lift, or are we locked down here? I thought we were locked down here. That's weird. Can we get that one? Um, nothing in these. Okay. That was, okay, that's where we can't go. So I think I need to find the terminal where that guy speaks. And then I can do that. Um, let's check this maintenance station. Uh, check ID signature. The computer matches the console signature from where the sedative command was issued that killed all the miners. In the okay. The order was given for the mistreatment a few minutes before the emergency lockdown took place. Numerous safety overrides were bypassed under the guise of issuing emergency treatment. Furthermore, it appears two cameras within the medical bay were linked to this terminal, then locked into place. The camera to the morgue and the camera in the room with the Colto tanks. There is no record of who issued these commands, but whoever issued the commands have had, have, had to have full access to the terminal. Let's return to the main console. Um, let's, can we access the maintenance logs? Okay, so here's a whole bunch of maintenance. Um, access, okay, that's the voice print ID. Alright, I guess we'll just listen to all these, or go through them. Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Okay. Uh, Ebon Hawk droids. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebon Hawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so. There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Alright, um, Jedi? been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi in Medbay. I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy. And that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Maybe the Jedi knows what happened to Revan after the end of the Jedi Civil War. Um, exchange bounty. Been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shot down that idea pretty quick. But I don't think Korda and his men are going to give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid, and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... Um, okay. Let's do this. Voice print ID. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebon Hawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter. And I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. Uh, and then security problems? The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. 
They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance, and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility, and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Interesting. Um, let's return to the main console. Uh, emergency subroutines. Uh, check for exit exits from fuel depot. Uh, Administer turbo lift active. Emergency turbo lift shut down. Containment field. Uh, fuel lines detected. Trace source of the breach. The system is registering a blast of one of the main fuel lines. Containment field has been activated. To keep the explosion isolated within the hangar bay and fuel lines. Awareness. That would imply that the fuel lines connect directly to the hangar bay. If you could get access to the fuel lines, you could bypass the containment field entirely. Um, check other exits from the fuel depot. Um, check airlock. Okay. Um, check other exits. Turbo lift. Turbo lift to mining tunnels. Detonation detected. Vending systems activated. Access denied. Okay. Check other exits. Administration level. Turbo lift. To administration. Access to fuel depot denied. Okay. Um, was that it for them? Can we comp system? Let's access this. Run diagnostics of damaged systems. We are running it. Signal unit destroyed. Comp system from fuel depot inoperative. Uh, the comp system circuits has been severed with a laser drill and there's too much interference in the asteroid rock to allow you to con contact any other level via comm link. Return to main console. Can we access the cameras? Uh, containment field. The droid maintenance area has been sealed by the emergency lockdown. However, new programming has been introduced to keep from opening even if the lockdown is canceled. There's no way to shut down the field that you can see from this terminal. That means anyone inside the facility is effectively cut off from the hangar bay. Maintenance level. Um, fuel line sensors. The fuel line depot fuel... The fuel line deposits fuel into docked starships. Since no ships are currently docked, it's sealed. There appears to be a damaged T3 unit dumped into the fuel line. It may be your missing T3 unit. There is some sort of metal case next to the T3 unit, but you can't make it out. It may have been deliberately dumped down there. Um, airlock cameras. That's just that. Return to main console. Um, I don't think we want to destroy the console. Okay. Let's check out all our journals. Um, voice print protocol. You were able to get, the, get a third of the voice print code from one of the hollowed, hollowed logs. Now you just need to find the other fragments. And you have tracked on the terminal used to poison the miners to a console within the Pragus Field Depot. There's no record of who used the terminal, however. Um, and then those are all... Okay. And we know where T3 is. Um, do I just go up now, I'm guessing? All right, I guess I'll go up this turbo lift if I can. I don't know what else I would do. All right. We're going... Okay, that's just open for us now. Do I talk to... Do I need to talk to Atten? Glad you survived the tunnels. Find anything while you were down there? Found anything? Uh, I found a talkative protocol droid down in the fuel depot. Yeah? Did you blow it up? Uh, no, I thought about it, though. Yeah, we'll watch your back. Droids can't be trusted. And you can't? The miners may still be alive. They're trapped in the dormitory section. So they are still alive. But the dormitory comm isn't picking up anything. Is there any way to get to them? Uh, I need to open an airlock, but it's sealed with a voice print protocol by a maintenance officer. Voice print? Great. That means he'd have to speak the code. And he's dead, right? Uh, it looks that way. There's ways to beat voice prints, though. If you can get samples of his voice and the right words, you should be able to fake the voice print code, if you know what it is. You know, I overheard the maintenance officer getting chewed out by the security officer. You might want to check the security office on this level and see if there's any voice samples stored in the logs. And maybe there's samples of the code in the maintenance officer's hollow logs, if you can find a way to record them. Um. Okay. I'll return if I find anything. Yeah, we told them what we needed to tell them. Um, I'm going to go look around the terminals, because I think there's a couple, but I'm not sure exactly which ones they are. I'm going to go look around the terminals and see if we can get the voice prints. Okay. We have another sonic sensor one at the security thing. So, you're in maintenance. Then maybe you can tell me what's going on with these droids. Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior cores are undergoing binary decay, but I can't find the source. This shouldn't be happening. Well, that's reassuring. It isn't happening. 
So the next time we nearly have a breach in the ventilation tunnels, I can just close my eyes and pretend it's my imagination. You better give me some answers. I want to know the damage these droids can do if they start mining us instead of asteroid rock. Sir, these droids aren't combat models. Their mining lasers are weaker and less accurate than blasters. I doubt those droids could even hit one of us. Are you blind? What about the miners in Med Bay? It's sabotage, and it started right after the commander said we weren't going to sell the Jedi to the Exchange. So I want you to find out how these droids are being sabotaged. That'll tell me who's trying to clear a path to get that Jedi off the facility and stop him. In the meantime, make sure the security's armed with all the ion and sonic charges you can find. If those droids start coming after me, I'm gonna need more than low-grade mining lasers to take them down. Clear? Yes, sir. Maintenance control out. Idiot. <laughs> so that's that. Let's log out. We got another journal entry. Um... Okay. You were able to get a second part of the voice print code from one of the holologs. Now you just need to find one last fragment and you should have the complete code. Alright, I guess I'll go look around for that that last fragment. Um, I know there's a few terminals, but I don't know if I remember exactly which ones are which. Alright, we're back here on the, uh, the uh, Paragus Fuel Depot where we started off. Um, I'm going to use this workbench. Um, we have some upgrade items. We'll use that. Okay. Um, assemble. What did that do? I should have probably looked. What does this do? Um, just resistance to cold and fire. Okay. Um, then I think our Viber Blade has something too. Yeah, there's this edge. Uh, massive criticals, one to three. Okay. We will assemble that. Just make things a little bit better for us. A little bit easier. Um, he didn't have anything on him, I don't think. Do you have any memory? Greeting. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. How may I be of assistance? Um, I found a T3 unit in one of the fuel pipes. It looks damaged. Alarmed query. Indeed. Master, how is it possible that a T3 unit got dumped in such a place? Like a piece of unwanted garbage? Thoughtful extrapolation. Perhaps it ran afoul of the other droids in this facility and was attacked. Most distressing. It is too bad that there is no way to reach the droid from here, Master. Otherwise, you might be able to determine what happened to it. Uh, I have some more questions for you. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Um. What's the body there? Answer. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end. He was quite incoherent from the pain, and attempts to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Uh, did he say anything at the end? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, running through the outer door. They're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone that... Oh, oh, no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're running through my leg! Oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Uh, can you repeat that, man? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, burning through the outer door... They're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone that... Oh, oh, no, they're, they're through. Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! Oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Okay. Um... I've, I've heard enough now. I'll be going now. Alright, so we got the last piece we needed. Um, you now have a complete set of maintenance officer's voice fragments and have to splice together the code. All you need to do is go to the maintenance officer terminal and activate it. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll see you at the maintenance terminal. Alright, here we are at the maintenance station. Uh, enter voice print code. Maintenance control, voice print ID, R1B5. Beeping from droid console. Open door to airlock with maintenance officers override. 
Uh, log out. Awesome. We did that. I knew that there was some. I knew that that guy had something. Um. Okay. So medical bay murders. That's the most recent one we have. Um, so I guess we just go through this door. Um. Airlock inner door. Do I need something? I feel like I. Uh oh. In order to exit the airlock, you will need a spacesuit stored in the locker in this room. It should equip automatically when you select the outer air airlock. Cool. Spacesuit. Awesome. Alright, let's head outside then. Go on, man. <laughs> 